Okay, I'd like to give you a perfect example of academic hubris. What it's like to be a highly educated mental midget and a fool. So I had a video that I posted some time ago about glass being a capacitor, which of course it is. Now, commonly people think of glass as an insulator, which it also is, but an insulator by definition is also a capacitor. So a guy left a comment and just tore me a new butthole, or at least from his own position that he did. And he said he had been doing optical design, advanced optical design, at a high level for decades. And I looked him up. He has a very unusual name. I don't want to tell you what it is. And he does work for a photonics company out in California that designs and builds advanced optical equipment for military and otherwise. Some real advanced stuff. Stuff that's used in fighter jet. They probably charge the US government millions and millions of dollars. So what he said was true. However, his hubris his uh, puffed up head ignorance and stupidity lended him to the belief, and this is very common, this is a perfect, perfect example that I came across, that since he's been designing advanced optical equipment for decades, and specifically also for the military, as his company's website illustrates, well, he must know the electrical properties of glass. You know, obviously, I don't know anything because I'm just a schmuck on YouTube, and you know, he designs advanced optical systems for weaponry and military use, and, well, that doesn't work. Here's a nice little video called, uh, this is by Massachusetts Institute of Technology. Look it up. It's called the Dissectable Capacitor. It's not about the glass actually being that thing which actually holds the charge, the dissectable capacitor. In the cathode and the anode, the actual charge is not held in the uh, copper tubes that are surrounding the glass jar, the actual capacitance, once it's electrostatically charged um, from an electrostatic uh, generator in this video, take a, look, take a look at it. So this guy obviously knows more than Massachusetts Institute of Technology. There's this neat little thing called a glass capacitor. <laughs> it's made by Corning. They're available for sale because glass is a capacitor. Let's go over to Wikipedia. Most common dielectrics are ceramics, plastic films, natural materials like mica, glass! Yes, because a dielectric is a capacitor. You see, an insula... Now, what if I said something as incredibly uh, stupid as, well, a bulletproof vest is an insulator against bullets, but it never contains them. What, what the hell are you talking about? It protects you against, well, it insulates you against bullets. Yeah, but it also traps them. You see, that's actually the definition of an insulator. If it insulates something, it's not repelling it, okay? That's what a reflective material like aluminum and copper do. Yeah, you see, if it's clear, it's also good. Ever heard of an oil, uh, some of the huge um, transformers? that uh, contain hundreds of gallons of oil. That clear so that oil is a capacitor. Glass is also a capacitor. Here we go. Let's take a look over at the marketplace industry for photonic light. A yeah, glass capacitor. A capacitor that uses glass as its dielectric material. Well, here's something interesting. Now, Corning makes these, and they are for sale. And it's a capacitor made out of glass. Glass is both an insulator and a capacitor. Yes. Yes, uh, here we have something. Now, um, uh, Benjamin, I'm trying to think, uh, Benjamin Franklin, excuse me, he experimented around with improving the Leyden jar. He actually used flat glass capacitors. He improved on the Leyden jar, which is the, gla the capacitor, the actual medium of the charge capacitance is in the glass. Here we go. This is a Leyden jar. It's a glass capacitor. Here's something interesting. Here you can actually buy from AVX uh, glass capacitors. Yes, there's a nice array of capacitors whose dielectric material for holding the charge is glass. So when I said over and over again in countless videos that glass is a capacitor, yeah, because light is, you see, you know how solar panels work? They work off of uh, the actual energy contained when, within the coaxial circuit of light. Yes. We all kind of know solar cells get their power from light. 
Yeah, light is an energy circuit. There's not a single person on this planet that is retarded enough not to understand that light is a power circuit. Kind of how power solar cells work. Yeah, that's right. And glass is a capacitor. That's correct. Yeah, you see there's no such thing as pure uh, transmission of light. There's no such thing. It doesn't matter how good the coatings are or how good the glass formula is, of which there are countless, countless thousands. They actually dope uh, lens glass, for example, with niobium oxide, lanthanum dioxide. They used to use radioactive uh, thorium. I have a lot of those radioactive lenses to uh, cut down on the thickness of glass, change the refractive index, because glass, like everything in the universe, is an electrical circuit with a certain magnetic permeability and dielectric, per dielectric permittivity. So this guy who designs, uh, and I don't want to give you out his name, and I looked him up with a really odd name so it was easy to find him. He does work in advanced photonics and makes optical equipment for the military. He probably has a PhD in photonics, um, probably a PhD in engineering. But because he has that, he's a hubristic fool a moron and an idiot that actually thinks he knows more. Well, glass is not a capacitor. He says this is complete nonsense. Well, glass is not only a capacitor. You can buy glass capacitors. Yeah, apparently, uh, yeah, the Leyden jar doesn't work. Well, yeah, glass is a capacitor. Glass is a capacitor. Glass is a capacitor. No, no, no. It's merely an insulator. Well, an insulator by definition is also a capacitor because everything's magnetic permeability, di dielectric permittivity, and there's no such thing as true insulation. Yeah? Yeah, light is an electrical circuit. What? I mean, back in the day, remember, you might not be old enough to remember this. If you're at least 40 years old, you would know this. When microwaves first came out, they had to create something called microwave safe glass. People thought when you actually heat up your food in a glass bowl it w that was not microwave safe, it would blow up. It would usually crack, and I've actually been witness to it at least a half a dozen times back in the day. Oh, you didn't use a microwave safe, but well, a microwave uh, sends out very powerful EMR to uh, excite the atoms and molecules in your food. But it also, what it did is it would bring non-microwave safe glass that wouldn't uh, dissipate dielectric charge. It would bring the glass to full capacitance, and once it reached that, it would blow. Means the glass bowl would go boom in your microwave. Now, if you're over 35 or 40 years old, you've seen this happen. Or you could just do a Google search on microwave bowl blew up. It will thought back in the day, stupid people, which was most people, I thought, well, the glass bowl blew up because it got too hot. No, that's not why the glass bowl, bowl blew in your microwave that had your soup in it or whatever. It blew because glass is a capacitor. And when you were heating up your food, a lot of that EMR went into the glass. And when it reached dielectric saturation, in other words, it couldn't hold any more charge, it went boom! So, my message to this unnamed person that does advanced uh, photonics um, production of materials for the military, who thinks he's so damn smart. I have a PhD. I've been doing uh, optical designs. It's, it's a, you're still an idiot. Okay? You're still an idiot. Just because you work with glass doesn't mean you know the electrical properties of glass. Glass is a capacitor. Here's a glass capacitor right here. These are Dow Corning glass capacitors right here. There's a whole bunch of them. Pretty expensive because making a glass capacitor is not cheap. You see this stuff right? It's glass! Glass is a capacitor. Yeah, I've actually had to debate a lot of really stupid people on this for years. It's, yeah, sorry, do a Google search. Glass is a capacitor, okay? STFU, if you know what I'm saying. STFU, glass is a capacitor. Well, I, I've been, uh... And then, this sort of hubris, it turns out this guy lives in San Francisco. And, of course, I lived in San Francisco. I've never met a group of people that are more full of themselves, more, uh, you know, self-sniffers, if you will. I remember that South Park episode where people would sniff themselves as they would release gas. Um, you know, don't pretend you know more than me about the properties or nature of glass, Okay. Back it up with facts. Don't make uh, bold statements of ignorance.
Well, you know nothing, boy. Gloss is not a capacitor. Yeah, it is. Even Massachusetts Institute of Technology. This is a really nice video. You should watch it. Yeah, it will show you that the glass is the capacitor. Yeah? Thank you so much for watching, and have a lovely day. Goodbye.